welcome back everyone to the channel. Hope that you're having a lovely day over there. It Can I just say something real quick? It is hot. <laughs> like, obviously I'm in the AC and everything, but like, ooh, there's just a certain, just a certain humidity in the air. Anyways, how about this? How about, uh, the light's not angled right. Hold on, hold on. You guys, I want to make sure you guys can see. How about that? Boom. Let's go ahead and listen to some Brian Eno. Why don't we? Yeah, you up for it? I'm up for it if you're up for it. Let's go ahead and listen to the first track off of the album, Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy. Released 1974, Eno's second studio album. We're going to listen to the first track on here, which is Burning Airlines Give You So Much More. I, I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think we should just listen to the track to kind of figure it out. Because um, in my head, I'm imagining an airplane on fire and and they're like would you like some extra peanuts or something <laughs> let's just listen to the track we'll talk about it after let's dive on in So I want to say already, okay, from the first from the first album we listened to, moving into this album, already on the first track, you're hearing such a difference. Production sounds a lot livelier, a lot more full, a little bit more dense, and it really allows the melodies to kind of sing out. Eno sounds really good here. I, I think his singing is wonderful. Uh, I'm assuming that he's providing his own backing harmonies. He's overdubbing himself. May not be. I know there's other people here. Um, I'm just assuming on this one. And I really like his guitar style as well, especially with that main melody that kind of warps its way through. It kind of snakes its way through, <laughs> through the rhythm of the music. That 
which I'm just assuming is guitar. I mean, here, oh, okay, I can't make this up. It's literally credited as snake guitar. I didn't see that when I, snake, I can't make that up. Um, but I love that melody, like I said, alongside the harmonies that come up, uh, the piano that enters as well with those harmonies kind of brings this nice mood lift into the music as well. Uh, I have no idea what he's singing about. The drum beat was nice, by the way. Um, I have no idea what he's singing about, but I'm enjoying him taking me there. <laughs> that, that, that's what matters most of the times up front. Uh, when I got back home, I found a message on the door. Sweet, I don't know why he pronounces her name this way. Sweet Regina. Can I just say Regina? Because that's how it, he says Regina. Sweet Regina's gone to China, cross-legged on the floor of a burning jet that's smoothly flying. Burning airlines give you so much more. How does she intend to live when she's so far in Cathay? I somehow can't imagine her just planting rice all day. Maybe she will do a bit of spying with micro cameras hidden in her hair. I guess Regina's on the plane, a Newsweek on her knees. What an unfortunate name. While miles below her... The curlews call from strangely stunted trees. The painted sage sits just as though he's flying. Regina's jet disturbs his wispy beard. I don't know what this song's about. Like, I guess she's going to... She, this, this lady is on her way to China. But he can't imagine her living there or fitting in. Maybe? When you reach Kyoto, which is not in China, send a postcard if you can, and please convey my fond regards to Chi Hao's girl, Yulan. I heard a rumor they were getting married, but someone left the papers in Japan. I have no idea what this song is about. Not even a clue. Uh, reading this, Eno, being primarily an arranger rather than lyricist, would often write songs by choosing a general theme. In this case, the general theme was the 1974 crash of Turkish Airlines Flight 981, the deadliest airline crash to date when this album was written. See, I wouldn't have gotten that from the lyrics at all. Even with that piece of information, I'm still not getting that from the lyrics, but I guess he's kind of just shining a light on one specific person, uh, whether fictional or not. You know, obviously the event is, is real, but you know, this person, who knows? Uh, he's just kind of putting an individual spotlight on them and perhaps just kind of displaying their their day what they're going to do you know on the plane and everything before of course this tragedy happened so that's at least what i can kind of gather from it if i'm gathering it right anyways sounded nice though let me know what you guys thought of the track you can let me know in the comments down below you can follow me over on twitter you can support the channel on patreon i don't know why i said follow me uh have a wonderful rest of your day and i will talk to you later bye guys